Welcome to Nehawka, Nebraska for the 2020 Bighorn Steel Classic. This is the National Rifle League's second match of the 2020 season, hosted by Chaz McCrander and presented by Thunder Beast Arms. Match director Chaz McCrander has designed great courses of fire that will challenge a high level of competition attending this match. This weekend, we will be following John Pinch, Matt Hornback, Josh Clough, and Carson Rutherford as they take on 18 stages across two locations over two different days. With adverse weather conditions and an exciting course of fire, anything is possible. You're watching the 2020 Bighorn Steel Classic. As snow trickles down, the squad begins the match at stage four. With the maximum 12 rounds up on the stage, shooter will start standing port of arms in the designated starting position. The orange circle back there. Um, you're going to start with your magazine inserted in your bolt back and all the gear to be used on the stage is in your hand. Upon the start signal, the shooter will engage the targets near or far with two rounds each from three designated shooting positions. Impact! 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 Now I'm back with Modular Driven Technologies. I'm out of Reno, Nevada, uh, here at the Bighorn Steel Classic in Nahaka, Nebraska, I think it is. Uh, the snow subsided a little bit. It was pretty snow and rainy and slippery. First, uh, first stage of the day, stage four, was uh, a 12 round stage. I ended up getting 10 out of 12. Dropped two with really bad trigger pulls. Positions are pretty solid, but uh, worked out those first stage jitters. Shooter, do you understand the force of fire? Yep. Shooter ready. Yep. Bye. Engage. Impact. 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 Wrong. Your first range is 430. Yeah. And all of us have hit with dope for 430, so yeah. I wouldn't lie to you. We went 457, 430. The second one is just further out in that field. Up yep. At the bottom the, of that the range bank. on that one's good. Okay. Take third. You guys find the targets out there, okay? Yes, sir. 14. Yeah, the question that I had, I'm sure you'll go over the stage reef, but I saw this last guy, he went one, two, three, four, five, all the way out. Now, do you transition, run over here, do you go back to one back. or back five, four, three, two, one? Five, four, so three, you double tap the last target. Yep, Check. you got it. <clears throat> I mean, you can if you want to. Well, yeah. you shoot at the last target twice. It's more yeah, of a, okay. It's more of a suggestion to get points. It's a suggestion. I like that. Do you like hitting targets? Uh, I do. I like being able to have some time to get my crap ready first, too. Well, I'm sorry. I know it's my own fault. He's taking a nap in the truck for the. I map. wasn't. I was looking for my bowling chip, but I still can't find it. That's a sign. I could have used it on That's the first stage. Apparently. Yeah. Impact! 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 
Flag in, please. Good job, Flop. Nice job. Hey, if we can get you, right? Impact! Fifty-five seconds remain. Impact! We have diamond, ten inch and six inch. They're down there at the edge of the wood. You've got two 10-inch diamonds and two 6-inch diamonds. We are shooting the left side diamond of both sides, okay? You shoot the wrong target, no point. You shoot as many of them as you want, but you won't get any points. All right? John, I'm expecting big things out of you. Me too. <laughs> Good. Bye. Engage. I can take that. It's better than losing points. You're about the only one that's improved when they use their mulligan on this stage. 
That's good. Hi, I'm Carson Rutherford. I just got done shooting stage seven. It went pretty rough the first and the second. Both times it went pretty rough. I got a three the first time. I used my mule again because at the end, when I hit the target, I thought I knew right where I was at, and then I got up with the same win and it didn't work the second time, but ended up improving my score from a three to a six, so it worked out pretty good. It's been a good match so far. So I gave it to him, I walk up there and miss the first shot, I'm like, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> it was switchy. I should have my wind call like four times. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The mulligan, I just kept it the same. I was like, if it's going to miss, it's going to miss, it's going to come yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> and it worked out. As soon as you said time. mulligans are done, everything started changing. Yeah, no, so I've always had mulligans. I know. Ever since Silent Night. That's what I said. As soon as you said that, ready. ready. Jake Bibber here from Washington State. One thing I like about this stage that makes you think, all the stages are completely different. Hi, Regina Milkovich. I'm from Arizona. That was pretty challenging. I didn't think I was going to be able to finish that well. So, so far, it's been a fun match. Carson Rutherford from Elk City, Oklahoma. I'm at the Heat Stroke Open. It was pretty difficult. High wins, fast movers. Heading into a frigid day two, the squad picks up at stage 13. Time today. So, any questions on where targets are? We got targets J, K, L, M, and N. So we'll start, uh, J is straight out, K is off to the right, L is back to the left, and then M and N are back to the right as well. Oh, L must be up. J, K, L, M, N, J, K, L, M, N. swing a lot. Dude, trying to do this in 90 with those swinging? Yeah. Holy smoke. We just started day, uh, day two, stage one. Yesterday was nasty. It was wet, it was muddy. Uh, probably the muddiest match I've ever been to. My brass is caked in clay, hosed down everything last night, guns, tripods, everything. So yeah, it turned out pretty well. Chaz did a really good job on the close of fire, splitting up long range stages and close range. Real, pretty technical, uh, It was, but it was a lot of fun. So I got beat up on some stages yesterday for sure, but had a pretty decent day. Today we start on probably my worst stage. On this side is the tree stand stage, kind of wobbly and uh, hard to see your misses because the thing bounces so much. And I had a pretty good run. So wind was mostly in my face, so it, I got lucky on that one. So 
Uh, so far, so good. Look, weather's a lot better, and we got grass over here, so we don't have to just play in the mud all day. So. See, I have some ideas sometimes. You do. So just when you move positions, just push your bag right and push your bag left. Don't move. Just, just push it over. The front bag or the back? Yeah, I just slid. I just slid. I slid right and I slid left and I slid it right. That's perfect. Then I realized, oh, yeah. I mean, those are the close ones. You can't, if I did on the farther ones, whatever, but yeah. I'm not very smart. How much one do you need? Because I said that too much. Now I was straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, and I needed to go to left edge because I went to right edge and missed. I went further right and missed further right. So, right. and he did the same thing. He needed to be left. I think, I think it's swirl. It depends on when you shoot it. Stay straight up, probably. I would start there. I try to see where it goes. Well, these are small enough to won't. Yeah, you'll see. All right, shooter, do you understand course fire? Yep. Shooter, are you ready? Yep. Engage. Yesterday, my first seven stages, I was I was doing pretty solid. The last three, I started having mag issues, and I started dropping lots of points on those last three. Kind of set me back a little bit. End of day one, I was setting in third, second or third, I don't remember. And then starting day two, I had some issues on the first couple stages, shot pretty bad. And then here on the third stage, I had a pretty solid run. So hopefully, I'm gonna pick it back up and finish strong. One, two. The way I do I start in the middle, come out, up. right, and then step over. So one, back up, one, so two. So you're probably going to do it just like you know, right. Yeah, side watch. But you have. Is when that our, the best way to do it? I think it's the fastest way. Save step. So when I shot it, it was like, it was straight up from me. That's the way when I shot the three. You were shooting. That's straight up. Yeah, I started straight up, and then like left edge, and I hit left edge, so I went straight up. And then when pinching it, he had to hold left out there to hit. Okay. So I think it's a little weird. I always have the first stage theaters and that came back and bit me in the ass okay. today, yeah. So. Oh well. Next time. Thanks. One of these days I'm gonna be alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yes! The, two, two. the numbers are too good on this one. They're point pretty two, good. One mil. I'm at point two, point nine, point four. Yeah. But it's not bad. Totally manageable. I mean, holding point nine is easy as holding one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's one tenth. One tenth. Part. I have point eight and one. Three matches. Yeah. So I just put it right put on the top window. and bottom. I got the tab that I wanted. Five hundred twelve, five ninety four, four eighty six, and five thirty five. Twelve round max. You got a. You got ninety seconds to shoot. <laughs>
Josh Clough here, HS Precision, out here at the Bighorn Steel Classic. Just finished a three positional prone stage. Uh, you dial, there's four targets. Shoot one, two, three, four, move one, two, three, four, move one, two, three, four. Uh, I ended up running out of time. I got 10 out of uh, 12 shots off. Uh, hit the 10, but for me, I had to dial just because I'm not good at holding. So, worked out pretty well. The match has been going great. It's a great little venue. Um, we've got a good squad. We're all having a good time. It's been fun. So look forward to a uh, little bit nicer weather today than yesterday. So it was fun. Boom shakalaka! All right, guys, we are here with our overall champion. And I say overall, I mean literally overall, Mr. John Pinch. <laughs> you won not only the two side matches this weekend, uh, but you won the overall match. Congratulations, <laughs> sir. It was a good weekend. <laughs> it, it was, was a very fun. good weekend. Yeah, I had a uh, shot match last weekend. I just had a really rough go. I kind of regrouped and came here, so it felt good. I was quick and everything was just running good so it was a it was a good 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 weekend so. and I, I forgot something you also won the poker tournament too i did yeah <laughs> the, the best thing of the weekend <laughs> right <laughs> no we had a good time it was fun i thought we had a great I, we got an airbnb with clough and, and matt and some guys and uh it was a pretty laid back pretty good time so that was a good time this has been a nemesis match for me uh i've been here this is my third time third year, yeah and variety of things happen it's weather's always nasty and it's just it's a it's always a rough match and then finally this this weekend it all came together pretty well i had shot really well today yesterday shot pretty good there were some tough stages yesterday i was telling the guys there's a couple stages that i've never underestimated this stage difficulty as much as yesterday two in a row that i thought were pretty straightforward um just got wrecked on even had a mulligan did it again same exact score well i got a four out of 12 and a five out of 12 on a stage that i thought i would You'd clean or well, do all in. I, th I figured an eight worst case and probably a ten. Right. It w and it was just the winds were switchy, targets were tiny. Uh, anyway, just there was so much mud. My uh, everything it just was filthy. It was just, <laughs> just one thing. Uh, anyway, it was good, but um, uh, a lot of fun. A lot, we had a great squad. Um, you know, Matt Hornback got second. His first, I think, his first top three. First top three, yes. And we were squad together with Clough and a bunch of good guys. So we had a, we had a really fun time. I so. think it was an awesome weekend for the the entire group, but your group especially. I mean, a lot of yep. first in your squad, yep. which was huge. Yep. Um, your expertise and, and, and leadership in that. I, I watched you through a couple of matches and you're kind of helping some of the guys yeah. figure out best way to approach a stage, yeah, for sure. uh, which I thought was huge. Yeah. Um, I mean, your squad, I mean, Carson Rutherford, yep. you know, top, uh, I think sixth place, right? Yep. So top yep. 10, Josh Clough, top 10, yep. Matt Hornback, top yep. LE, yep. Uh, military, and, uh, and second, second place. Yep. So, I mean, you guys just, uh, we did. You, you did a great job this weekend. Yeah, there's something about squads. Like I talked to the guys on Friday. I was like, hey, if we can get rolling as a squad, it's powerful. And so I was like, we got to really share and work with each other. And, and everybody was awesome. We had a really fun time. We had a fun, I mean, with Josh and your squad. <laughs> right, how can you go you wrong? Fun time, but no, it was fun. Chaz did a really good job. I we, I know he's he talked about it a little bit, but last year there were some things we talked about, and he took it to heart, and he made a very fair match, splitting up long range, fair targets, yes. a difficult match with some small targets, but very fair. So I want to give props to him. Um, I like watching match directors evolve, and I've been front of center of my mind because I'm getting ready to help help run a match. First time so match like, director. Yeah, I'm running one with Jake, and so yep. all that's top of mind and. 
you can plan well and have stuff go bad, but he did, he planned well, and we had bad weather, but still ran pretty good, and he, I think he did a really good job on stage design, so. I couldn't agree more. Props to him and to you guys as usual, so. Well, thank you, yeah. we really appreciate it. This yeah. is the first NRL match this season. Yep. So we still got plenty more to go. Oh yeah, here we you, go, uh, here we go. You're going back for that championship title. Oh yeah, all always, right? always, that's so the goal. It's so. up, up for grabs. Yep, it'll be good, except I gotta go to Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Just Oklahoma's kidding, good Tate. Tough. <laughs> so anyway, thanks again. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, fun. John. Yeah, you bet. All right, thanks. Take care. Hey, guys. We are here at the 2020 Bighorn Steel Classic in Nehaka, Nebraska, and we are here with our ladies champion, Steph. Steph, congratulations. Hi, thank you. So this is your second two-day national yes. level match, and you came out here and you kicked some butt in some very tough conditions. Yeah, it was pretty snowy and icy um, and muddy, but overall, the second day was a lot better. Um, it was just cool to see the improvement. But yeah, second two day match, so it was cool. I think I ended up like 65 out of 90. So, I mean, not great, but better than last. Better time. than last, yeah, right? Yeah, an improvement is what you want. So. And you're out here having fun. Yeah, I had a really good time. I was in a really good squad, um, and everyone was really supportive. And yeah, no, it was super good. So, out of all of the stages this weekend, which stage was your favorite, and which one was your nemesis? Um, my nemesis is actually kind of shocking because it was the boulder stage, the, okay. the rocks that were kind of set up. I went onto it thinking it was going to be fine because all the rocks, like they looked flat, it was going to be good. And it wasn't good. Like it was just different. When you get up onto <laughs> the stage, you're like, oh, like there were some steps that were kind of weird. Um, so that was my nemesis. But my favorite, I think. Um, Honestly, I think it was, and a lot of people hated it, but I think it was the tree stand stage. Okay. I yeah. liked it because was it was cool. a little different and it's cool because there's a lot of wobble after you take your shot. Right. And so you kind of just got to figure out like, okay, let's try to see the impacts, but then let's try to work off it. And you have to dial, you have to look at your position, set your position and then react. So I don't and, know. I liked it. And it's one of those stages that you don't really get to really practice. No. Yeah. So you have to kind of think off the fly yeah. and kind of see what everyone before you is doing and, mm -hmm. and and we worked as a best. squad. That's why I liked it the most too. We worked as a squad because like we made our pack all together because we all use the same pack. Right. And we had to like set our position up together. Nice. And so yeah, it was kind of cool. It was cool to work together like that. So, awesome. Yeah. So what's next for you? Um, I don't know. I was gonna. I kind of want to focus on border wars this year because okay. I'm out. I'm from Minnesota. Right. And Minnesota has like three matches this year. Um, and then also they have a national match too right. in Minnesota. So that's pretty cool because we haven't had a lot of matches lately. Yep. So yeah, I'm going to focus on To be my first time to Minnesota oh, as well. Oh really? It's like this. It's cold it's like, and yeah. icy. <laughs> okay, so maybe I'm not going to. I'll <laughs> yeah. see you guys in Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> cool. But congratulations. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. We wish you the best of luck. Yeah. Go inside, get warm. Okay, I appreciate what you do too. Awesome, thank, thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, and we are here with our top young gun, Jake Eggers. Jake, congratulations, sir. Thank you. How was this match for you this weekend? Uh, it was tough. There was a lot of competition out there. Cold. It was definitely cold. Yeah. Now this weekend you had the opportunity to shoot with your dad. Um, I know your dad doesn't really help you when you're shooting, even though that is something that young guns have uh, at their availability. But how was it shooting in that dynamic? Um, it's, I don't know, it's like every other match. You do it kind of same over and over. So what was your favorite stage? Um, probably, I would have to say the where you had to shoot four rounds, move four rounds, move four rounds. Okay. Nice. And what would you say to all of our other young guns out there that are thinking about getting into this sport? Um, Piece of advice. Don't quit. There you go. That's good advice. That's good advice. And I heard your brother's going to start shooting more this year as well. Yeah, try to. So, so the whole family's going to be out here. Yep. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to see you at the next match. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. This concludes the 2020 Bighorn Steel Classic presented by Thunder Beast Arms. Congratulations to John Pinch for taking first place in the match. The NRL would also like to congratulate Matt Hornback and Brett Barnes for taking second and third in the match, as well as many great competitors close behind them. Thank you to the match directors, ROs, sponsors, competitors, and everyone else who made this match possible. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to stay up to date on all NRL news and content. As always, Stay safe, keep shooting, and we'll see you all next time.